Hey guys, I want to do a quick update. I thought I found the perfect example to use the Soundshark parabolic collector here uh, with a Rode lab mic. I'll tell you why in a second. Normally I use the Asdin SGM 250CX on my Ursa here. Anytime I'm ready to do an interview, interview I just uh, put this up close to somebody and I get great audio all the time. But getting audio from a distance, I was in a classroom you know, there's no PA system, speakers, microphones, no, nobody was labbed up. I just wanted to get that audio from a distance. So I tried this out with the Rode Lab. Now, the reason I use the Rode Lab is the Ursa Mini here only does 48 volt phantom power. Most lab mics are, you know, three to five volt plug in power. And uh, the Rode Lab mic is one that works with phantom. So it was safe to use Threw on the Micon XLR adapter. We're good to go. So here's some tests. You guys can compare the sound between this in the beginning and then I switch over to this which is a little bit louder. So if I see that they have a knife in their hand, I'm like, oh, okay, I might draw my gun. Or if they have their hands clenched, right? If they're just balled up and they're just all mad, I'm like, ah, F you, you know, I'm not going to jail you know, and that I'm ready to fight. I've been to prison, I'm not going back. You know, those are all tall tale signs like, eh, this isn't gonna go the way I want it to. All right, so if you heard those examples, you'll notice that we are getting a lot more volume with the Sound Shark than we are with the Asdin um, for, for that distant sound. Now, it's not perfect sound. It's picking up some room noise, picking up the air conditioning noise, uh, but it is getting all of the volume from the speaker. Now, I could bring it in post and kind of tweak it up a little bit and maybe do some noise filtering, but it definitely did work compared to using any other mic that I had. So I could see myself using this in a lot of different situations. If you guys have any questions about this, um, I had another video uh, earlier. You could take a look at that. I also have a link below the description of this video and on the blog cheesycam.com.